Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Saturday of the 16th week of Ordinary Time. And uh, it's July 29th today. And in years past, this was the feast day of St. Martha, the sister of Lazarus, the sister of Mary. However, in 2020, just a couple of years ago, Pope Francis expanded the feast day to include the entire household, uh, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. So now Martha shares uh, her feast day with her sister and brother, um, <laughs> just like I'm sure she wished that her sister would share in some of the chores around the household uh, while they were alive. Uh, you know, now they're, they're sharing uh, their, their feast day together. Uh, Pope Francis expanded it to include uh, Mary and Lazarus as well. So today, the uh, feast day of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Now these were, I mean, can you imagine the, the, the privilege, the, the, the luck even, of having as a good friend, Jesus. They called upon Jesus that he would visit their home. Uh, uh, you know, they, he, they were just, they were buds, right? They were good friends. And uh, how, how amazing that, that sounds, doesn't it? To, to just have Jesus who would just pop in and say hi once in a while, or you could, you know, bump into him on the road and and hug him and, and say, hi, old friend, how you doing? Um, that's just, what a, what a, like I said, what a privilege, what a, an honor uh, to, to con be considered a, a close friend of our Lord and Savior. So we have the, this beautiful feast day today of friends of Jesus. In our readings from today, we, we look at... Uh, well, the first reading is, you know, just an account of, of the love of God and how meaningful and deep his love truly is. Uh, sacrificial love, self-giving, and, uh, you know, just dying for us love. And then in our gospel, we have choices today, options, uh, different stories that circle around Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Uh, one is the death of Lazarus where Jesus comes, you know, four days. He arrives four days after Lazarus dies and still raises him from the dead, you know, and we hear of the faith of his sisters that they believe, you know, in the resurrection. And uh, that just the, the depth of faith because of their relationship, their their knowledge of who Jesus is. And they... They truly knew, you know, the, the person that was their good friend, his, his divine nature. They had an understanding of that. And I, I think we're called to that same understanding. I think that, you know, we should also consider Jesus our friend, our companion on our journey because he's always with us and he gives himself to us affording us that opportunity to 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 join him and he joins us every day if we go to mass and receive him in the holy eucharist you know he truly can be present in our life every day and to understand that this jesus is god himself and we have this relationship with not just a human person, but a divine person. And that's the privilege, that's the honor, that's the, the unfathomable gift that we have. And it's afforded to us the, the opportunity to be best friends with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, just as he was friends with Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. The other option of the gospel today is the, the retelling of that story of 
the uh, the instance when Jesus was at their home and Martha busied herself with serving and you know not only Jesus but his companions were there too so she had that gift of hospitality and was preparing food and cleaning the house and setting the table and and everything that goes into having people over at your house while Mary sat at the feet of Jesus and listen to every word that he spoke. And when Martha complained to Jesus that her sister should help her, <laughs> Jesus, I'm sure in a kind way, let Martha know that she needs not to worry so much about the hospitality end of it, although it's a very beautiful mission to be on, to be hospitable and welcoming and serving others. It's not as important as sitting at the feet of Jesus and listening to everything he says and then trying to take those words and make them your life, applying them to everything you do and you say. And when you do that, you know, the hospitality comes as a natural part of who you are. But listening to the word of God, as Jesus told Martha, Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken away from her. So today, we shall celebrate friendship. We celebrate relationship. We celebrate a kinship with a divine person. As Martha, Mary, and Lazarus were so blessed to have the person of Jesus as their friend, we too endeavor to become better friends. He's already your friend, but don't you wanna make him a better friend? Don't you wanna hang around with him a little more? Invite him into your life on a daily basis. Hey, not even that. How about on a minute-to-minute -minute basis? Every opportunity that comes up in your life where, you, you know, you're, you're doing something, you're, you're, you're thinking about something, you're making a decision, you're encountering someone, bring Jesus along and let him be part of the you know, the the uh, the situation. Let him be in on it. Let him help and guide you and, and be there with you to, to help form your your choices and your words and your the actions that you do. You know, allow Jesus to be with you always as your friend and confidant and of course also your Lord and Savior. So we pray our evening prayer today and we celebrate friendship. And we look at our own friendships and we want them all to be deep and rich and meaningful, especially our friendship with Jesus Christ. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord. Make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. I have called to you, Lord, hasten to help me. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer arise before you like incense, the raising of my hands like an evening oblation. Set, O Lord, a guard over my mouth, Keep watch at the door of my lips. Do not turn my heart to things that are wrong, to evil deeds with men who are sinners. Never allow me to share in their feasting. If a good man strikes or reproves me, it is a kindness. But let the oil of the wicked not anoint my head. Let my prayer be ever against their malice. Their princes were thrown down by the side of the rock. Then they understood that my words were kind. 
as the millstone is shattered to pieces on the ground, so their bones were strewn at the mouth of the grave. To you, Lord God, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge, spare my soul. From the trap they have laid for me, keep me safe. Keep me from the snares of those who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, from the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is worthy of all praise. Let our prayer come like incense before you. May the lifting up of our hands be as an evening sacrifice, acceptable to you, Lord our God. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. With all my voice I cry to the Lord. With all my voice I entreat the Lord. I, am, I pour out my troubles before him. I tell him all my distress. While my spirit faints within me, but you, Lord, know my path. On the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see, there is not one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I have said you are my refuge, all I have left in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name Around me the just will assemble because of your goodness to me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, we humbly ask for your goodness. May you help us to hope in you, and give us a share with your chosen ones in the land of the living. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. The Lord humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend, in the heavens and on the earth and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. How deep are the riches and the wisdom and the knowledge of God! How inscrutable his judgments, how unsearchable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor? Who has given him anything so as to deserve return? For from him and through him and for him all things are. To him be glory forever. Amen. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. We praise the wisdom which wrought them all, as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he sold everything he had 
and bought it. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be for ever. Amen. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. When he found one, he of great value, he sold everything he had and bought it. We give glory to the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and in our weakness we pray, Lord, be with your people. Holy Lord, Father, all-powerful, let justice spring up on the earth. Then your people will dwell in the beauty of peace. Lord, be with your people. Let every nation come into your kingdom, so that all people will be saved. Lord, be with your people. Let married couples live in your peace and grow in mutual love. Lord, be with your people. Reward all who have done good to us, Lord, and grant them eternal life. Lord, be with your people. Look with compassion on victims of hatred and war. Grant them heavenly peace. Lord, be with your people. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God, our Father and Protector, without you nothing is holy, nothing has value. Guide us to everlasting life, by helping us to use wisely the blessings you have given to the world. We ask this to our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow.